Siva's theorem is a theorem about triangles in Euclidean plane geometry. Given a triangle ABC, let the lines AO, BO and CO be drawn from the vertices to a common point O not on one of the sides of ABC, to meet opposite sides at D, E and F respectively. The segments AD, B, and CF are known as Sevians, then, using signed lengths of segments A F F B B D D C C E E A equals one. Display style frac a f f b c d o t frac b d d c c d o t frac c e e a equals one. In other words, the length a b is taken to be positive or negative according to whether a is to the left or right of b in some fixed orientation of the line. For example, a f f b is defined as having positive value when f is between a and b and negative otherwise. A slightly adapted converse is also true, if points d, e and f are chosen on b c, a c and a b respectively so that a f f b b d d c C E E A equals one. Display style frac A F F B C D O T frac B D D C C D O T frac C E E A equals one. Then A D B and C F are concurrent, or all three parallel. The converse is often included as part of the theorem. The theorem is often attributed to Giovanni Ceva, who published it in his 1678 work De Linaes Rectis. But it was proven much earlier by Yusuf al Mu'atayman ibn Hud, an 11th century king of Zaragoza. Associated with the figures are several terms derived from Siva's name, Sevian. The lines AD, B, CF are the Sevians of O, Sevian triangle, the triangle DEF is the Sevian triangle of O, Sevian nest, Antisevian triangle, CEVA conjugate. CEVA is pronounced Chayava, Sevian is pronounced Shevian. The theorem is very similar to Menelaus' theorem in that their equations differ only in sign. Proof of the theorem Here directed segments are not used, except in the case of proving using Menelaus' theorem. A standard proof is as follows, Posamentier and Salkind give four proofs. First, the sign of the left-hand side is positive since either all three of the ratios are positive, the case where O is inside the triangle upper diagram, or one is positive and the other two are negative, the case O is outside the triangle lower diagram shows one case. To check the magnitude, note that the area of a triangle of a given height is proportional to its base. So B O D C O D equals B D D C equals B A D C A D Display style FRAC triangle bod triangle cod equals FRAC BD DC equals FRAC triangle bad triangle cad. Therefore B D D C equals B A D minus B O D C A D minus C O D equals A B O C A 
O Display style FRAC BD DC equals FRAC triangle bad triangle bod triangle cad triangle cod equals FRAC triangle abo triangle sow Replace the minus with a plus if A and O are on opposite sides of BC. Similarly, C E E A equals B C O A B O Display style FRAC CEEA equals FRAC triangle BCO triangle ABO and A F F B equals C A O B C O Display style FRAC AFFB equals FRAC triangle sow triangle BCO. Multiplying these three equations gives A F F B B D D C C E E A equals 1 display style left frac af fb cdot frac bd dc cdot frac ceea right equals 1 as required the theorem can also be proven easily using menelaus theorem from the transversal bow of triangle acf a b B F F O O C C E E A equals minus one Display style FRAC A B B F C D O T FRAC FO O C C D O T FRAC C E E A equals minus one and from the transversal A O D of triangle B C F B A A F F O O C C D D B equals minus one. Display style frac b a a f c d o t frac fo o c c d o t frac c d d b equals minus one. The theorem follows by dividing these two equations. The converse follows as a corollary. Let D, E and F be given on the lines BC, AC and AB so that the equation holds. Let AD and B meet at O and let F be the point where CO crosses AB. Then by the theorem, the equation also holds for D, E and F. Comparing the two A F F B equals A F F B display style frac af fb equals frac af feb, but at most one point can cut a segment in a given ratio, so f equals f. Topic generalizations. The theorem can be generalized to higher dimensional simplexes using barycentric coordinates. Define a Sevian of an n simplex as a ray from each vertex to a point on the opposite n1 face facet. Then the Sevians are concurrent if and only if a mass distribution can be assigned to the vertices such that each Sevian intersects the opposite facet at its center of mass. Moreover, the intersection point of the Sevians is the center of mass of the simplex. Routh's theorem gives the area of the triangle formed by three Sevians in the case that they are not concurrent. 
Siva's theorem can be obtained from it by setting the area equal to zero and solving. The analogue of the theorem for general polygons in the plane has been known since the early 19th century. The theorem has also been generalized to triangles on other surfaces of constant curvature. See also Projective geometry Median geometry and application <laughs>